This is the DJI Mini 2. Look at it. It looks really nice. Now this has auto return to home and we're about to test that. By the way, this footage, I'm filming it all in sport. Check out the smooth motion. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that in a couple of films. But right now, let's return to home. Right guys, so what we're doing today is we are doing the um, return to home test. I'm really, really interested to see if this guy would lose signal with the phone, your phone dies, or with the controller. Anything goes wrong, will it return to home exactly to this spot? Um, this is a landing pad you can get for drones. Um, this is the Mavic Mini 2. It is perfectly in the middle of that H. And um, I'm gonna take off, um, go a little distance away. Um, I'm gonna put the camera on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off. And um, yeah, I'm really interested, I really am. Cause I mean, I've got a whole load of, I don't know what that is over there. I've got water over there. So this could be quite a fun test. Um, let's make sure that the home point, let's have a look. Safety, go into safety, go into update my home point. I'll use when aircraft is in flight. Okay, so what we're gonna do, take off. I'm gonna let it hover for a second. Home point updated, um, return to home is set to 101 meters, which I don't really need, so I'm going to set it down to about um, 22, and we're going to fly away. Well, it's nice out there, huh? Now, it is blown out. Um, for the purpose of this video, I don't really need this to be in perfect exposure. If you do need perfect exposure, please watch one of my next films where I'm going to use the um, Freewell ND filters just to show you why you need them. And you can see by this image, I am on an ISO of 100, shutter speed of 1 over 50 and 4K 25 frames. So I am on the 180 degree rule. Now, we're somewhere out there, 156 meters away, nine meters height. And um, damn, I mean, I'm having trouble. I'm gonna press. Return to home. Go home. Okay. It's going home right now. Um, I've actually never used this on this guy. Um, you have to press and hold the um, left button um, on the middle of the um, pad right here. So this one right there, you gotta hold that and it should be coming back. Now, um, I can see this little guy He's coming in like a rocket. <laughs> okay, let's give him some space because I have no idea where he's gonna land. And um, I don't know. Landing. Well, he's landing, okay. Um, hopefully he's not gonna land on my head. Let's look down and see if he is above that. That is not <laughs> accurate <laughs> at all. Um, that is nowhere near accurate. We are gonna try this a second and third time. So we give him the best out of three. Aircraft unable to land on suitable landing area. Okay, well. My landing was almost perfect, about three centimeters. Um, I'm gonna try that best of three. Um, we are gonna give this guy a chance. Now, um, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna calibrate the compass. Just in case that has anything to do with it. Um, and we are gonna go for another try. This time, we're gonna fly out there. Um, let's press record. It's so pretty out here. If it wasn't all blown out, it would look actually really good. Um, okay, I'm out there, I'm a little bit higher, and let's press um, return to home. You can also press and hold the button on the screen if you press land. And right now, it's looking for me, it's found me, and it is on its way back. Um, I mean, that was interesting. It didn't 
it was what, two meters out. Um, here it comes, there are a ton of birds out here. I really am worried, I think this is like some kind of bird sanctuary. But um, okay, let's check out, let's put the camera right down and once again, I would say, oh, it's landing. And once again, I would say it's way out. Um, as you can see, the pad is about, what, two meters away. I'm not touching anything, by the way. Okay, I would say that's a little bit closer, but still not good. And it's probably not gonna land again. Or is it? Yep, aircraft unsuitable for landing. Okay, once more. Okay, and just in case you think it might not like the orange, let's flip it to black. Off you go, my friends. You have um, third time lucky, I guess. Now I'm gonna fly out in that direction, see if that makes any difference at all. Okay, and let's press return to home. Here we go, up it goes. It's gonna flip around and come back right to us. Um, I mean, this isn't bad. It was, what, two meters away each time. Maybe the second time is a little bit closer. Um, okay, it sees me, it is coming and I hope it's above that tree. Yeah, just above it. Um, so it's not too bad. Um, it should land perfectly in the middle. My Mavic 2 Pro does a really, really good job. Um, here it comes. Hello, my dear. <laughs> okay, let's get the camera down. And... Uh, come on, you can do it, come on. Nah, it's still, it's still out. Um, the return to home is good. Um, it's good, it's not bad. I mean, the thing comes back to you um, when you ask it to, but it's... Um, That is actually the closest it's got. It should put the camera up, there we go. That is the closest it's got. It is, um, if we put the camera back down again, it's what, about, oh, I'd say a meter away. So it should just be a tiny bit forward here. And it should have flipped around and a bit back and it should have landed right about there. Um, so as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the Mavic 2 Mini, oh, sorry, I keep on saying the Mavic, I'm so used to that. Um, like I keep on saying the Ronin RS2. The DJI Mini 2 um, does come back when you need it to. Um, however, it might not come back to the exact spot. As you can see, there was about a two meter um, zone that it kind of came back to and it stayed. Um, I hope that really helped you just in case you need to know if it's gonna come back. I mean, you can, um, be sure it should come back to you. Um, just make sure you always, always set your return to home height because it has no obstacle avoidance. So it would have hit that tree back there or it would have hit the fence or something. Um, so make sure you set that when you're flying out um, just in case you do have a problem and it disconnects. Any questions, as usual, drop them in the comments below. I make sure I get back to all of them. And um, if you like my film and it helps you, give me a thumbs up and you know, I'm gonna fly some more, get the most out of these batteries, put some ND filters on maybe.